Hello and welcome to ET Garage. We are at Pocono Raceway and uh, we're getting set up and uh, we're doing a track sprint event. I did one more one of these events last October. They used a different section of the track. So uh, hopefully this will be an easy easier easier track to follow for me anyway than uh, autocross because autocross I'm horrible I just miss I'm terrible at following the cones and I ended up all over the place uh, so I'll try and get some in uh, car footage and I will leave a link up here to uh, my other track day videos to a uh, playlist and uh, it is cool right now it's like 50s and then with the wind and the overcast it feels like it's in the low 40s so uh, I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, this is uh, me setting up for my first run here. I'm just getting up to the uh, starting line. And uh, my first was my slowest. Uh, I'm wondering what tires I'm running. I'm running Michelin Pilot Sport uh, all season, so they're not really track tires. They do really well though for a uh, all season tire. Uh, I ran like, like I said, I ran like 76 seconds in the first run, and uh, of course then you come around back into the uh, pits, or the uh, staging area, and then you start over again. Uh, it's either the second run, this one here, or the uh, third run, I almost lost it in the hairpin, and uh, I braked way too late right there and there and I was actually sliding around almost went into the grass and the ABS was kicking on and all that good stuff like I said I'm not sure if it was this run I just did or this run that I'm starting right here uh, if you want to compare times uh, uh, C8 and I'm not sure what tire is he was running he was running in the uh, mid 50s I ended up getting working my way down by the third run down to 63 seconds and by the fifth I think it was the fifth uh, session I made it down to like 61 seconds and I'm not showing all the sessions here or not all the sessions but all the runs that I made during this session session that each session is an hour long you spend most of your time sitting in a staging area waiting for the other cars to go and then you make your run like I said which is around 60 seconds long and uh, I ended up, like I said, getting down to around 61 seconds. And uh, then my uh, last, my uh, eighth and ninth run, I actually slowed down a little bit. I decided to concentrate on being smooth. And uh, so my times were like 62 and 63. And uh, Then on my last run, which will be coming up here shortly, I actually went, uh, I did really well for myself. I actually did like 60.836 seconds. So, uh, like I said, I apologize about all the glare and uh, I tried correcting with the software, but this is my last and fastest run right here. It was 60.836, like I said, and uh, be interesting to see what I would have done if a good set of uh, track tires. And I, I'm pretty damn sure I would have got down into the 50s. So uh, even though I'm the slow, I consider myself the slowest guy on the track, I actually think I could have done really good for myself. So I was real kind of happy with that. So uh, let's end this video. All right, my session is over, and I had a great time, and I was hauling ass out there uh, for me anyway, and. Uh, fastest times I've seen was something like 50 seconds and that was in a formula Ford car right over there that's one of the fastest times I've seen and uh, of course there's all these other cars a lot of Porsches there of course and uh, some other really nice cars and there are a lot of cars are running in the 50s the fastest time I ran was 60.8 Six or something like that if you want to get technical 
For me, that was really good. My first lap, I took it real easy. I was like 75. Uh, second lap, it was like 66. Then I dropped down into the 63s. Eventually, I got down to 61, and then like the eighth and ninth lap, I went up. I went up to like 63, 62, and the very last lap, I did a 60.836. Uh, I was sliding around, I think it was the second or third lap, I, I uh, was going through the horseshoe, I was, I was trail breaking through there, I got in there kind of late, breaking late, so I trail break through it and I almost ended up in the dirt and I was sliding around and the ABS was kicking on. Uh, I saved it from going in the dirt though, I was real happy about that and uh, continued on. So. Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to slow that footage down and uh, if not, maybe I'll, I'll find some links to some other footage from the other guys that are filming here. So, uh, there's a bunch of other events going on here today also on other parts of the track. Like on the big oval, they got the uh, really fast cars going. Um, it's some type of national event. If I can, I'll, I'll post it up here what it is. I'll try and find out. And they also have a drift event going on. Uh, right now I think I'm going to just head south back towards my house and I might just go right past my house down to Mechanicsburg for a, uh, a cruise they have going on and, uh, and then after that head home. That's a lot of driving for besides just plus doing this event. Like an hour up here, an hour back to my house and another hour down to Mechanicsburg. I won't even stop at my house if I go to Mechanicsburg, I'll just drive right by it. But, uh, Good thing is, this car is getting really good gas mileage. Uh, you want to know what kind of gas mileage I got on the track? It was 8.6 miles to the gallon. <laughs> but uh, on the highway, I'm getting about 24 miles to the gallon. So, uh, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm up over 2,000 subscribers. I also want to thank all those subscribers. Uh, everyone that subscribed, I really appreciate it. Everybody have a great day and God bless.